Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the full video of how I did ape hangers for $300 on my V-Rod Night Rod Special 2007 model. I did 16 inch ape hangers. I did a video on how much those cost. It was around 70 bucks for just the ape hangers. I ended up getting 43 inch throttle cables because I measured my existing ones. I went with 43 inch throttle cables, which ended up perfect. I ended up doing a magnum shielding clutch line, which was like 78 inches. That was like 140. My throttle cables were 20, free shipping. My brake line kit was about 120. And uh, me and my friend Kevin, we just sent the wiring for the stock controls through the ape hanger. They came out the bottom about an inch and a half. We had snipped the connectors from inside the Molex connectors off already and soldered in an additional 17 inches of line and then soldered the connectors for the pins back onto those lines and then repinned my connectors. That worked out beautifully. Electrical taped everything so it does look very clean. You can't see any discolored wiring. It's all black in there just like the stock harness if not slimmer. So I wanted to do a video on how I did ape hangers for a round. 300 to 350 bucks so you're looking at 70 dollars for the eight hangers 20 for the throttle cables that's 90 bucks your clutch line was 140 so you're looking at like 240 minus 10s 230 plus 120 dollars for the brake line kit so 350 and i extended my wires myself with some soldering he already had and degutting my molex connectors and already had the white wire in stock i used 18 gauge wire i had a roll of it from god knows when because i hoard all my automotive stuff so this is my roll of wire i probably still have like 60 whole inches left so i've had that forever i didn't even have to buy that so right at 350 dollars to do my own 16 inch ape hanger kit on my v-rod night rod special we extended my wires myself Extending the wires is no easy task just because we sent the stock wiring loom, like the, the sheet, sheathing that you already have on your stock wiring setup from your stock controls. It's a lot thicker and a lot bigger than your actual wiring bundle is, which I wanted to remove it, but Kevin didn't want to, so we sent it that way. Um, when we pulled the wiring through the ape hangers, the shoelace came undone once on each side of the wiring, ship, sending it through, so we had to pull them back out manually, which was kind of a nightmare. But we did get them extended. We did get them all soldered and heat shrinked. And then I electrical taped everything. So again, for 350 bucks, instead of spending $37 on an extension kit for the wiring harness, which $37 for 12 inches of wire extensions for like 14 wires to me is a little pricey just because of the simplicity of it and the cost that they would have involved. If you're going to spend $37 on a wire extension kit, they probably have three to 12 bucks in that kit. It's just not much material, a bunch of Molex connector tips and some extension wire crimped together. It's just not worth it to me to spend $37 on that. Plus a lot of people don't like wire extensions that clip together versus a good solid solder connection. So I chose to do that to save some money because I wanted to see how cheap I could pull this all off. I don't think anybody else can do an ape hanger kit like this on a V-Rod or a Night Rod Special or any VRSC bike for under $350. It would just be very hard because Magnum shielding, there's no way of getting around paying that for a custom line. The brake line kit, there's only one version out there, which is Magnum shielding. You could order one, but they were only like 20 bucks cheaper for a pre-made line setup. It's hard to gauge how much longer you need your top line for a bike that's not often ape hangered. So this is my video on how I did ape hangers for 350 bucks on my V-Rod Night Rod Special. I am overwhelmingly happy with it because I was very stretched out with my drag bars that were only three inches high. It was just not comfortable at all. And now I have a nice, comfortable, hossy feel, and it has changed the ride experience tenfold. I would give this entire system a five-star rating. I have no complaints about any of the products whatsoever. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. It keeps me motivated to making videos. If you have questions, comment them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you while my channel is small. Hopefully at some point it will blow up and get big like a lot of the other people that are dropping content that probably isn't as good, but that's the way it goes. No complaints, just keep on moving forward. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.